second time, the MPs on the majority side of parliament have gone back on a decision to boycott the 2023 budget should it be read by the finance minister, Ken Ofriata. The MPs did not only threaten to boycott the budget, but also not to do any government business with the minister. But that has now been stood down following engagement with the leadership of the party and its council of elders in the wee hours of November 22, 2022. A joint statement by the General Secretary of the Governing MPP, Justin Frimpong Kodria, and the Majority Chief Whip, Frank Anodompre, said they agreed to refocus and recline to the earlier position requested by the President. The MPs have also been cancelled to resort to caucus communication channels. Spokesperson for the over 80 MPs who initially demanded the sacking of the Minister, Andy Apia could be confirmed to 3FM, they have deferred the wishes of the party. He said, we have been told not to discriminate against anyone chosen to present the budget, including Ken Ufariata. He continues, we expect our constituent to understand us. The mother party has spoken. Some MPs have already indicated it is party first and they will show up in their numbers to support the government business on Thursday, November 24, when Ken Ufariata appears before the House. A seen Central Member of Parliament, Kennedy Japong, has also made an intervention calling on his colleague members of Parliament not to buy too hard. He says the planned boycott will not inure to the benefit of Ghanaians. For Gabi Otridako, a leading member of the MPP, the 2023 budget is a make or break one and must be supported by all without reservation. Some MPs from the other side of the House, the minority, say they will not be part of a budget presentation by the very minister whose removal they seek with a central motion. All of us as a House should make it abundantly clear that we are not ready for him to come and present the budget to us. Is he the only man? You have the men. You have the men, you have the men. Where are the men? We should be resolved that if he is going to present the budget, we should all work out for him and make sure that the signal goes out that we are not prepared. And not only work out, but the budget will not be passed. It is unclear why the members of parliament on the majority side are unable to take a firm decision and stick to it. Their continuous wavering position on the matter continues to fuel speculations and suspicions that the members of parliament may be using the matter to serve their parochial interests. This has been compounded by reports that at the height of their demand for the minister's removal, a businessman stormed parliament with money and tried to intercede on behalf of the minister, a matter yet to be investigated. Meanwhile, majority leader.